You're up, crew cut. You taking notes? In one of my previous tutorials, I briefly talked about how to move with your attacks. Moving with your attacks in this tutorial basically taught you how to use Dante's moves and learn how to switch through his styles and weapons. However, I really didn't go over a lot of examples of what you can do with your attacks, so in this video I'll be covering all of what you need to know and how to incorporate this movement in your gameplay. For the average person that usually picks up and plays DMC, they will most likely just run where they need to go, whether it be to the next mission or the next checkpoint or even the next enemy. But for a seasoned DMC player, traversing with their character's attacks is just a way for them to move around. They will always use a lot of different skills just to get to point A to point B, and sometimes these moves can be very beneficial if we're trying to avoid enemy attacks. When you apply your character's move list as movement options to maneuver around the battlefield and around enemies, you become a lot more versatile compared to just running and jumping. Some moves can also keep you in the air a lot longer too, which is great for manipulating your airtime. And when you use jump canceling in conjunction with movement, you can refresh your resources on the fly and continue to stay mobile in the air. Unfortunately for Virgil, whiffing attacks usually decreases his concentration gauge, so if you don't care about using concentration gauge at all, feel free to incorporate stuff such as using Starfall to attack away from the enemy. In order to get a good sense of what your moves can do, try experimenting with your character's kit. V's kit revolves around using summons and gamut to move around, and he can also summon Nightmare to teleport onto his back as a quick getaway option. As for Nero, he relies heavily on Caliber, Paylon, Streak, Shuffle, Hardway, and GP01 to keep himself mobile. As for Virgil, he doesn't have a lot of movement options, but he makes up for it for his Air Trick, Starfall, Air Stinger, and Rapid Slash. And last for Dante, he has a whole plethora of moves to choose from, such as Flint Wheel, Air Trick, Down Trick, Cut In Variations for Gunstinger, Red Line, Shocking, and more. I highly suggest playing around with this kit and find out what you like because he has a whole lot of moves to choose from. Next up, I'll go over some stuff that involves using movement options within combos. But before that, I will say that a lot of information in this next part could be considered subjective in this video, so it's entirely up to you if you want to take anything away from this portion of the tutorial. When you normally juggle an enemy in the air, sometimes you end up staying in the air at a fixed point while juggling the enemy. This is completely fine, especially if you aren't sure what kind of combo you want to do. But if you wish to spice up your gameplay, adding movement not only can help you build knowledge of your character, but it can further improve the look of your gameplay. Using moves like Caliber, Sky Star, or Air Stinger can give the sense of progression or flow within your combos, and when combined with manipulating the enemy in various directions, such as knocking them up, away, or down, it can help improve your gameplay even more. Now I'm going to go over some examples. For a starting point, here is a basic combo with Nero. After that, I will build on top of it and go over what you can do to add more mobility to the combo. Okay, for this combo, it was pretty decent, but instead of continuing with Aerial Rave, I'm going to add in Caliber and use GP01 to move back to the ground and follow up with Hardway underneath the enemy. And then I'm going to use DT to pop the enemy up. Oh, 
Okay, so as of now, I like the beginning portion of what I have, but I don't quite like using DT since it didn't add that much to what I'm doing, but I still want to keep the knockaway effect. And for that, I'm going to add in breakaway, use some movement with punchline attack, and then finish it up with a buster grab. Now for Dante, I want to try to make a combo with all of Dante's melee weapons. And then afterwards, I'm going to see if I can vary it up a bit. Okay, this wasn't that bad, but I want to add more movement with Sky Star and Down Trick into a setup with Thunderclap and Cavalier, all while still using each double arm in order. With the example shown, I hope you were able to learn about how to put more mobility in your gameplay. And keep in mind that you don't have to do a lot of fancy movement if you don't want to. There are plenty other things that you can do without it. Just do what you find to be fun and that's all that really matters. With that being said, thank you for watching this tutorial. For the next part, I'm going to expand upon movement options, but with using mods for DMC5 on the PC version. And the mechanics that I'll be talking about will be inertia and reversals.